software, we want to bring in a Dr. Kimberly Blizniak. She's a, an earthquake expert, works at San Jose State University. Dr. Blizniak, thanks for joining us this afternoon on Fox Weather. I know you've been quite busy. As, as far as what we know about this earthquake so far, is it, is it safe to say that we can't say this was the, the main event? Certainly a, a stronger one, that magnitude 5.1. Yes, so um, we anticipate that they, um, the, there may be an aftershock. So um, I just uh, found out that there's actually a 67% um, chance that a bigger main shock will occur um, within the uh, next week. Uh, so what we felt may have been a uh, foreshock to a larger earthquake. And so as many of you guys uh, experienced, you may have gotten the alert that an earthquake was coming. I felt the earthquake and I evacuated right away because the first thing you should do is get to safety. And if you're in a building, you should evacuate. And um, I actually stayed out there for a while because I didn't want to stay inside in case um, the aftershock came while um, I was coming back into the building. And so, um, but the USGS did just release um, some a notice stating that there is a 67% chance that this may be a foreshock to a larger earthquake um, in the next uh, week or so. And Dr. Blizniak, I mean, it, unfortunately, 67%, that's pretty high. So in terms of the next week ahead, what are you recommending well, a, folks should do? Yeah, so the... So it's, it's based on the, the scale of the magnitude. So it's a 67% of a magnitude three or above. And as we get to magnitude five of what we just felt, there's um, a 2% chance. But so the, 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 the earthquake is just kind of like settling, I guess you can say. <laughs> Sure. Or, no, uh, that's, think about it. And that's an excellent uh, illustration. And, and Dr. Blizniak, we had a couple of months ago, I think it was last month, actually, that magnitude 4.4 that was uh, closer to Santa Rosa. Do you, do you remember that one? No connection with the one that we, we felt there today, um, southeast of San Jose, correct? Um, no. So the Santa Rosa earthquake that we felt about, I guess, probably a month ago occurred on a fault called the Rogers Creek Fault. Um, and um, this fault is um, the earthquake that occurred today occurred um, south on a fault called the um, Hayward Calaveras Fault. And it's um, uh, basically it, all of these faults, whether you're talking about the Hayward Fault or the Calaveras Fault or the Rogers Creek Fault um, near Santa Rosa, um, is, is part of a larger system of faults um, called the San Andreas Fault System which we've all heard about um, living in um, earthquake country. And the San Andreas Fault System uh, consists of these many sub-parallel faults that are right lateral strike split faults. And these faults sure. are basically accommodating motion between two big tectonic plates. All and right. these two plates are the North American plate and the Pacific plate. Good deal. And well, so as Dr. these two Kimberly, plates are sliding Blizniak. past each other, I'm so sorry, but we are oh, we are up against the clock. We, we got to go, but very insightful. Okay. Thank you for your information. Hope I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.